are at Home Depot looking for a power inverter. Bingo. Yeah, there you go. That's it. That's it. it. Says we have one in stock. Right. <laughs> <laughs> There's an echo in here. Wow. <laughs> Where's aisle 70? We're at one corner of the store. It's, it's on the opposite it's end. Literally diagonally yeah. the opposite corner. In automotive. Uh, in aisle 70. Bye. <laughs> We are now in automotive. Apparently there is a power inverter in here somewhere. That's it right there. This guy. That's it. That is the toy right there. All right. Now mind you, this is only we're gonna test. To test out the batteries. further. I need to do a battery test. Larry, uh, in his large S, uh, has decided to uh, loan, I hope it's a loan, it's not a gift, uh, it's a loan of two six volt batteries that will allow me to get on the road a lot, a lot faster and it basically save me about two or three hundred dollars. So a, a typical 12 volt battery will run you uh, anywhere between uh, two and three hundred dollars. And uh, also, no, I take that back. Uh, two and, and about a th and, and twelve hundred dollars, depending on who makes the battery. Uh, I can't afford battle born batteries because that shit is just crazy expensive. Even though I would like, you know, two of them, it's just not going to happen. So these are basically, you know, basically what I got. And these are two Duracells uh, EGC2s, uh, six volts. And when you line them in series, they give you 12 volts. So what we've been doing over the last couple of days is basically charging these puppies up. And that's that whine that you hear, if you can hear the whine. Uh, charging these puppies up to see whether or not, A, they retain a charge. They do. Uh, and the second part of this test is to see whether or not they can deliver power, basically. Uh, and that requires uh, an inverter. So uh, Larry had uh, a 400 watt inverter laying around and that's this guy right here. He had that inverter laying around and we, we connected it up <laughs> while we're waiting for parts. We just kind of sort of put everything over here. Um, where uh, basically the inverter wasn't powerful enough to pull from the uh, to pull from the batteries in any meaningful load. So what we went out and did, or I went out and did, is uh, get a far more powerful inverter, thousand watt inverter. Uh, mind you, this is not. Uh, the end, the end inverter charger that I'm looking for. This is actually just a uh, just an inverter. It's not an inverter charger. Uh, it's the inverter charger that I want is uh, a uh, a thousand watt inverter charger that will basically do everything uh, soup to nuts. But nobody sells a pure sine wave inverter. Uh, you know, walk in, walk out. So I had to. You know, we have to order it online and go to Amazon.com and do that whole nine yards. So. Um, um, this is just basically a test to uh, see whether or not these batteries can handle a load. That's it. That's all. All right. So basically, all I'm going to do is uh, connect up a connect up that the uh, the inverter, and then put a load on it. Put a load on those batteries. That's it. It does not get any more complex than that. But it's also a really good test of uh, not just the inverter, but more importantly, the batteries. All right. Here we go. Twelve point seven one seven two seven. We'll call it twelve point seven.
plug in my load. Ah, cool. Snickety. Yeah, We're pulling more wattage than the than than we have. Or yeah, we're pulling more wattage than we actually have. <sighs> okay. Gotta figure this out, but We'll figure it out momentarily. Well, after a little bit of administration, it appears as though the uh, batteries, those guys, are uh, probably not viable, sadly. So, which means I'm gonna have to go buy some batteries. That sucks. But however, Larry has a couple of other options that may be usable. So we'll see what happens. I'm gonna leave it right there. It's, uh, it was a, an important test. Uh, the inverter with a little bit of administration actually did work. Uh, finally got it up and running. Uh, the connectors were not, uh, not properly connected. Uh, that's not due to my fault. That's the manufacturer's problem, manufacturer fault. Uh, the, the little screws too wide to actually fit in the hole <laughs> so it was causing a, a fault and the machine was actually telling me there's a fault in the faulty connector so that's why it was uh, beeping at us so or beeping at me so long story short yeah this is a failure but it's an important failure uh, means I can't use those batteries all right I'm gonna leave you right there uh, have yourselves a fine NFT day, and uh, talk to you when I talk to you. Bye.